I'm telling you guys, I felt it when I was there. I felt it in my pockets. Guys, of course, friendly people all the time. I was back in the Matrix. I see me in friendliness. Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. Now, I'm back guys. I know you guys said, man, why is Jay not on the boat in videos? This is what happened, right? I had to go get this little man here. Come here, son. Come on, come on in, come on in, come on, come on in. I had to get this little big man here, right? You guys remember from last year? It's the summertime, so I got him. Say what's up. Uh, what's up? Yeah, see, voice deeper than mine is actually, I made my voice like that purposely, but got the little man here. But when I was out there, right, I realized something. I went from New York, then I went to Atlanta, Georgia, and then I went to San Francisco. And I seen a difference, like, and let me, and I, that's, that's gonna make sense for this video, but let me tell you what I seen. Was I seen how things were topsy-turvy? Let me explain, because I went from state to state to state, right? And in New York, I seen the prices there. When I was in Georgia, I seen the price a little bit lower, but still high. And then when I was in San Francisco, woo, California pretty much, woo, I seen a difference. And how I, how did I price it out? I gained probably like five pounds. I said it was 12, but it was five, right? Let me explain what happened. I'm out there, I'm eating fast food. I'm in McDonald's in, in San Francisco. I seen prices of like $12 for a meal. I was at McDonald's in Georgia, because I don't know why, I, I know you guys didn't say, Jay, why you eat McDonald's? Because I was off my diet. I was off my kilter. I wasn't on my, my right calibration, right? Because I was outside of the Philippines. But that's no excuse. But I did what I did, right? I seen the prices in Georgia were like around seven, eight bucks. And then I seen the prices in New York was more. So I said, man, I'm looking at that and I'm looking at the prices of the Philippines and I'm like, that alone right there brings stress. And then you already know with women, oh, I want to go to provide this, that, that, that. It's like hell. But anyway, guys, so I'm going to get into the five things, five reasons why guys choose leaving, going to the Philippines. Five reasons why guys choose going everywhere, right? Because it's facts. So let's get right into it. I realized right away. I, re I talked about this before, but guys, I felt it because being in the heat all the time, see, my cousin came over here for his trip, right? It was disastrous for him because he's not used to it. But you get used to it, right? And being in the heat all the time, like right now, it's rainy season. But still, the warm, the warmness, right? And that feeling all year round and also the freedom. It's far less stressful in the Philippines. That alone, the stress, right? Also, I say recently within about two years ago, I got my time to myself. Like I, I was still in a rat race. Not really in a rat race, but still in it because I had to work. But I had my own time, meaning I worked when I wanted to work and it made sense for me. But now I completely have my own time. But yeah, the stress, man, it's night and day. It's night and day. I talk to guys all the time going through it and you feel it, but recently now, like now what I'm going through now, I don't feel that stress. The price gouges. You gotta pay for organic. You guys have no idea, man. You, you, a lot of you do, because a lot of you are in the States. Like, you come here, you just eat. Of course you're gonna run with pesticides. You don't want pesticides, then you need to go organic. But other than that, there's nothing to worry about. And you're not paying an arm and a leg for your food, right? That right there, and the prices being so low, right? When I first came here, I was living off of 1500, 1700 bucks. And I planned my own wedding with that money. I got another job, but still, I was making pretty, no more than around two five. And yes, I was living, living well. So that right there, the stress, night and day. Guys, of course, friendly people all the time. I seen it. I was back in the matrix. I seen the unfriendliness, right? People, don't get me wrong, I'm used to it. People are lovely in the US. 
I'm not taking anything against people. I love the U.S. But when you are around friendly people all the time, you truly see it. And guys, I'm not trying to bash any countries, but even when I was in Thailand, it was a difference between Thailand and the Philippines. Let me explain. I was playing, right? And I'm not going to talk about Thailand. I'm going to explain the difference between the U.S. because Thailand was a lot better than that. But even where I'm from, right? I'm from New York. You guys already know how it is there. In New York, it's like they're playing drums down there somewhere. You hear it, okay? That's yeah. part of school. It's like they're playing drums. But anyway, I was back over there, and you feel it. Not even just the service. The way people look, people say you somewhere at a restaurant, people... They don't want to be there, right? Because they're not making enough. And then they spend all that money, and I get it. It's kind of like in the Philippines, right? With the amount of money they make. I see the difference now of how it's a lot better here. Let me explain. Now, the people, they're a lot happier. They just don't care, really. It's not even a Bahala now. Filipinos just don't sweat the small stuff a lot of times. And when they do, they just let it go. Even my wife, right? My wife calms me down. But being around the people, right? The people alone take the easy way. And guys, let me, I got to get into a mortgage. This is why it's more or less stressful. <laughs> people, being around people all day that are smiling, right? It's, it's the same thing. Say when you go to work, right? And you around, you go there and someone's always, oh, I'm complaining. Oh, I have this problem. Oh, I got that problem. Oh, this, my boss, this, this, and that. What do you do? You distance yourself away from them people. So imagine, and you guys already know, when you're out there, it's like, you can't distance yourself away from people all the time. But you find yourself standing around friends and family. And then sometimes you got that friend that's complaining. It's like, bro, what are you complaining about? Especially if you took a trip to the Philippines. You'd be like, when I was around people in the Philippines, they weren't complaining. They were drinking. <laughs> that's a bad thing. But yeah, they were happy. Not even just they were drinking. They were naturally happy. They didn't care. They didn't sweat it. And you, that rubs off on you, right? It rubs off on you. And you pick up those characteristics. And then you stay with a smile on your face. The drums are killing me, y'all. But <laughs> you stay happy. And it creates... I remember when I spoke with... Um, it creates that environment for you. I remember when I was speaking with Odell, right? And Odell was actually happy to me. I don't know. He picked it up right away. I think he may have been watching my videos and other people's videos. But exp other expats teach the same thing, too. You can't come here with that same attitude, right? So... What happened with him, he talked about it in the video. He said he came over here. He said he was in Benilo Ilo. They got in a car with him and pretty much kind of said, we're going to, to Jollibee, your treat. I wouldn't have took them Jollibee. <laughs> now, I'm just going to be real. He said, yeah, there was no problem for me. I took them all to Jollibee. And I'm sitting there like, in the video, I said it. I think I, I can show that clip. I said, what? You did what? <laughs> Kids or no, friends? they were grown ups it's coming a, from the club. To walk the taxi? No, they just jumped in the taxi with me and said we want to go to Jollibee. Uh, are they female or men? They were female. Oh. And one of, and uh, it was some gay people too, but and then there were some others on motorcycles. On and they followed the taxi and we go to Jollibee, like ten people in Jollibees, along with the taxi driver. Everybody wanted Jollibees from me. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. I bought them Jolly Bees. Man. I did. <laughs> what? I bought them Jolly Bees. Man, listen. You can't scam me. I'll, I'll pay for everybody. Man, I don't know. I don't think I'd have bought that Jolly Bees. I did. I bought them Jolly Bees. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm friendly, but guys, come on now. I said, what? But he made, he made a point, and he was right. And I would do it, though. I would do it. But he said, I would do it now, especially after he said it. He said, Be, you know. Be. I mean, I have, uh, like, I got videos on my phone mm -hmm. where people come to my house and I let them cook and eat, whatever like that, because I just do that, mm -hmm. you know. But there are people here that will help you, too. Because yeah. I'm not, I'm nice, but I'm not doing that. But he's like, no, man, I just go with the flow. I just did it. And he said, never happen again. I'm sure he wouldn't do it again like that. He probably would, though, because I asked him, would you do it again? He said, yeah, I would. I said, wow. But that's the attitude you got to have. Not be exactly like Odell, <laughs> but friendly, right? Friendly, because people are going to be friendly to you, but don't be a pushover out here. 
prices are cheaper for everything but U.S. foods. And I said it before. It's weird. Right? You see what's going on out there with inflation? That's happening here. But it's not as drastic. And I was out there. And I said it to my wife. I said what they're doing is they're pinching the people. Right? That's all of the tax money missing. What's going on right now with inflation in U.S.? That's for all of the tax money they're missing. For all of those things. They have to push the price to a different area. So they're still pushing it on the people with inflation, but they're pushing it to a different area. And it's wild because what's happening is the rich are winning. Because the rich are getting more money because people will still buy, right? They're getting, I don't know how to get more tax, but they get more from people and they're going to get you one way or another. To avoid that, leave. Avoid the, the drastic inflation, the only best thing to do is to not be there. Now, you feel it everywhere, but out here, you're getting all the food you need, it's healthier, and you can go, it's when you, Philippines and also anywhere over here in Southeast Asia or anywhere outside of the country, you can actually be more healthy, right? If you choose to, you can also be more unhealthy too. You have leeway to go both ways, right? So if I wanted to, as I explained earlier, I can go to McDonald's right now and get more food. Or I can go to a regular store and eat more meat. Or I can go to a regular store, eat a bunch of potatoes. Everything's going to be better for me, right? So whether it's price or whether it's health, you're not paying extra money for GMO. That right there alone makes me feel a certain way. And also, it's... It's a matter of view, right? Everything is here and you just, but it works in your favor because it's a cheaper price. It's kind of like when you look at a Filipino, right? Out here, Filipinos make two bucks an hour. Or that's starting, but a lot of I know a lot of Filipinos making thousands a month, making 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 a month, right? But that's after many, many years. You coming here, you put yourself in that position immediately. Man, that's that right there, hands down. What are you waiting for? I don't know why you guys aren't here yet. I feel like a broken record. I'm saying the same thing I said before, but I think you guys need to understand it. That's why it needs to be talked about, right? It needs to be talked about again and again and again so all of you guys can understand it because I'm telling you guys, I felt it when I was there. I felt it when I was there and I felt it in my pockets, right? I felt it in my pockets and I'm like, man, I see why people dread it. They dread all. They dread spending all this money, and then women are not even cooperate. Right? That right there alone. Think about it. The price is going higher. Then it's saying, "I'm not going 50-50. 50-50 with who? 50, these white boys ain't going 50-50, and they are. They are. They, every other race is going 50-50. Right? That's why it's more convenient for them. That's why." And then even turn around and look at the, ho- the, the median household income. Who's still winning? Indians, Filipinos, Asian Americans, and that's something to look at too. That's something to look at too. Come out here and get you a Filipino for that reason. Look, look in the US. Filipinos are like top off. Indians top, I'm not saying to go to the Indian, but when you move that from US to the Philippines, you see why it happens, right? Because save a Filipino if they're coming from here, they go there. They own it already. I'm not saying telling guys to take them there. I'm saying they're on it. They see the opportunity. And a lot of times, guys in the U.S. don't see the opportunity. But a lot of Filipinos, when they get there, they want to save to get back here. It makes more sense, right? It makes more sense to be here. You have one meal for me and JJ. It was 2,500 pesos. And how do I know? I was still counting money in pesos. And why was it so bad? Because the inflation, the dollar's higher to even things out, right? They raised the paper. They're raising the the price on paper to keep U.S. high, right? And once again, guys, I'm not bashing U.S., but still, they raise it to keep it high and and to stay on top of everyone. But how, how is Americans winning when everything else is high? 
all that does is helps guys that travel, right? So if you're traveling, like right now, what a dollar's high, oh, you're winning. 58.50 right now is the dollar. I felt it when I was there. I was like, that's like number five right there. I felt it because I'm out there and I'm like, look at that like everything is so high. And then I'm, I, I compute that and go, wait a minute, the dollar's so high. The dollar's so high. So when you're in the Philippines, you're winning. So that's exactly why it makes it stressful. And then knowing that too, a lot of guys see that. You can't leave right now. You go, wait a minute. If it's 58 right now, I can leave and be winning. So right now, it's the best time. I've made changes to five reasons why it's the best time to go to the Philippines. It is. Because look, the dollar high alone, you come here at 58, that was like, let me do the numbers on that. Hold on, what's up, one One dollar right now is 58.52, right? So look, $100 is 5,851 pesos. Still, so you're getting like an extra $12 on 100? Now, turn around and put that in US. You need how much? Three, 400 bucks? And a lot of times people are overeating, so it's spending 500 box, bucks every trip. It's expensive. So the ease, man, the ease. When you come here, you become at ease because all the other things I stated in the first couple of things, I said why. I said why is better, right? You get at ease after a while. You're like, oh, I'm out there. I'm like, I can't wait to go back. I can't wait to go back. And I'm back now, and I'm happy. And in L.A. and in San Francisco, it was like almost freezing, right? It was like 58, 60 degrees. Of course, the time of year, right? It's barely hitting spring. Actually, no, it's full spring. Actually, it's full, it's full spring. I don't know why it's so cold, but I guess the cold front it came back out here. It's burning hot. Kay's sweating bullets right now. Y'all got to see Kay behind the camera. Yeah. Kay is sweating profusely. I, I forgot. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's one of those words. Profusely, I think. But, uh, yeah, guys. But, yeah, thank y'all for watching, man. This is where I'm staying at now. Check out my view, guys. It's so beautiful. It's. I kind of went back to... I like this place because it gave me nostalgia. You guys remember the video? You guys remember the video I did when I first uh, when I, I first started recording, right? I was living in a place that had a roof view like this. And I love it. I love this kind of view. So I'm going to be up here a lot. Planning, plotting, making videos. So you guys are going to see a lot more content from me. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lot of content just talking. Just random talking, talking about what I think. And uh, I'm also going to do live streams here too, guys. So be sure to stay tuned. Uh, now I have better internet connection. That's why I stopped going live, guys. I didn't have good internet connection. So now I have good internet connection. So who knows? I may go live. Not tonight. Tomorrow morning. I got to keep it morning. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm back. And I'm still working on my uh, get my time right. But yeah, y'all, thanks for watching. Bear with me, y'all. Welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. See you next video. Peace out. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my content, to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. And there you can buy me a coffee or you can book a consultation with me. I have consultations for a very small fee. At the bottom of this video, you'll see thanks there. You can give a thanks and make sure your comment is highlighted. And you can give a small donation that way as well. Guys, in the description, you'll see other videos of my other content that's great as well. So you can be sure to watch my other content there. Thank you for watching. See you next video.